Hello! Last episode, we made this amazing starter base, but in order to continue building this massive world I want to make, we need farms. A lot of them. Today, we'll be making all these farms. This list certainly does not cover all the farms I'll need, but enough to get me plenty of rockets and food to start me off. First, I needed food. All the bread I stole from the village was running out, so I set out to make a villager crop farm. But first, I need a tear from the land. After forming the land and the paths I want, I was also running out of iron. I made an iron farm last episode, but it kinda sucked. Golems were spawning outside the death chamber, and I simply needed to move it somewhere else. After figuring out what a spawn chunk was, I decided to make it there. I opened a tower so the golems couldn't spawn outside the death chamber. Yes, it's ugly, but for now it works. Now that I have an iron farm, I can now make a small farming outpost that will host the villagers forever trapped and exploited for the best of their lives. Anyways, now that I have food, I added bigger crop fields around the vicinity to make the landscape more vibrant and pleasant to look at. After replacing some of the villagers because I forgot to check if zombies can get in, I set off to make a sugarcane farm. Sugarcane is important because I need paper for rockets. After getting a few more rockets, I decided to fly around my base and make the first map. We can now track the progress I make around my world. I make a small bone meal farm, but later I realize that every time I unload this chunk, it actually breaks. Later, I'll make an even bigger version of it in the spawn chunks so I don't have to keep checking up on it. After the bone meal farm, I wanted to give the cliff side of the hill some color, so I made some crop fields with some stone walls on the cliff side. I then begin working on the wool farm. I build a simple barn inspired by Mr. Mew's design, but I add a few of my own ideas. I then breed all the sheep I need and collect all the dyes in the game. For now, this will give me a steady supply of wool for building. After the wool farm, I take a break from building and go to the nether to get my second beacon. One for haste 2, or one for speed or regeneration. After running out of rockets, I decide to make a creeper farm. One that was better than the other one I made in the last episode. This will be a simpler design using cats underneath the castle. The idea is that whenever I'm in the vicinity of or sorting through my items in the storage room, I will constantly be getting gunpowder. Fitted with an item elevator to send directly into the brewing area. I start to build a greenhouse to accompany the wool farm. My goal for this building is to house my bee farm. Taking another break from building, I decided to go netherite mining. I actually had never mined netherite before. So I made some beds and decided to go the bed explosion route. I was able to get enough to upgrade my pickaxe and my shovel. After terraforming the cliffside and making a big enough area to start a village in, I began to do outlines of the buildings that went inside the village. This village would heavily be inspired by f style. I tried giving the village a lot more color by using a variety of blocks. I incorporated a crop seed farm, a concrete maker, a bamboo farm, and my glow lichen farm inside some of the buildings. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode of my hardcore world. I plan on terraforming the world around the village, so next episode might take a while. Thank you for watching.